Hi Kitchen Friends! Welcome to Jules Flavor Bliss! And in this episode, I'll be sharing with you a dessert na I'm sure na magugustuhan nyo. Two-in-one dessert. Ang creamy custard and ube mamon. So come on, start na tayo! The very first thing to do is to caramelize the sugar. Kailangan natin to to make our custard. Just like the procedure sa paggawa ng leche plan, we'll fill each molder ng ating caramelized sugar. Then, set aside muna natin ito at let's start to make our custard. To make the custard, we'll crack 3 whole eggs sa ating bowl at ibibit natin slightly para maging pino ang ating custard. Add sugar and continue mixing. Let's add vanilla and fresh milk. Hindi tayo gagamit ng condensed milk kasi we would like to create a dessert na not too overly sweet at talagang light lang siya. So, we'll just continue mixing this hanggang sa ma-incorporate na lahat ang ating mga ingredients and then later on, i-filter natin siya ng at least twice before natin isasalin sa ating mga molders. Then, at this point, we will prepare our ube mamon. Separate muna ang egg whites sa egg yolk for the butter mixture. Then, iseset aside muna natin ang ating uh, egg whites. Ipiprepare naman muna natin ang paggawa natin ng butter mixture or ng ube butter mixture. So, i-combine natin ang flour, baking powder, at salt. At i-mix natin maiki. I-prepare na rin natin ang water at ang ube flavoring. At i-combine na rin natin ang vanilla. In another bowl, let's beat egg yolks, oil at sugar. At i-combine na rin natin in 3 batches ang flour. At i-alternate natin ang dry Wet, dry, wet, dry, wet. And also, to remind you na we need to sift yung ating flour. Because in this method, we are incorporating air sa ating flour. And you can sift it kung gusto nyo two times or even three times. And in this way, it will make the sponge even floppier.
And lagi nating tandaan na we have to check kung na-incorporate talaga natin ang ating mga ingredients dito para free of lumps. So, let's prepare our meringue by beating the egg whites. At kapag ka marami siyang bubbles, that's the perfect time para ilagay natin ang cream of tartar. Then, we continue to beat at i-add na rin natin ang sugar gradually. What we are looking for is yung stage na ma-reach natin, yung malapit na siyang maging stiff picks, but not so stiff. At isang test ito para malaman natin na ready na ang ating egg whites. We're in. Hindi na mag slide ang ating meringue sa kanyang bowl. At ito ang ating dalawang mixture. Ang butter mixture at ang meringue. Now, ikukunbine natin silang dalawa gradually. Here's a, another tip. Pag magkukunbine tayo ng ating butter mixture at na ating meringue, huwag natin ikunbine agad-agad. Kumuha tayo ng uh, a little part ng ating meringue, yun ang i-mix natin sa butter mixture, and then gradually, mag a tayo ulit ng meringue hanggang sa makikita natin na homogeneous na ang ating mixture. Or a little bit diluted na ang ating mixture. Para hindi masyadong heavy para introduce natin dun sa isa pang mixture. And gently lang ang ating strokes dito. Tuon sa ating prepare kanina ng mga molders na may mga caramelized sugar, ipour natin ang ating custard mixture. At least half full. Then, ang ating butter mixture. And with the help of an ice cream scooper, if you fill ko to the top, ang ating mga molders ng ating butter mixture. At pag all set na siya to the oven, which is preheated at 160 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes. And we are putting hot water for our hot bath or wine marie. After 35 minutes, jan, ito na ang ube mamun. Custard. And now, for the moment of truth, just be careful while you unmold these little beauties. Okay, perfect. So soft and so moist. And look at that. Isn't she lovely? Please stay tuned for more easy version in cooking. And catch me every Wednesday for more recipes for easy cooking. And don't forget to subscribe to inspire me more and create more easy recipes just for you thanks for watching please stay safe stay well god bless 
बाय